I'm gonna break down the best equipment to buy for a window cleaning business for three different budgets, whether you have $20 or five grand, okay? And I'm gonna go through all the different stages and I have bought all of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video and I'll show them to you. This is all the stuff that I use. I do not recommend anything that I don't use, um, not because it isn't good, just because I can't speak to it. Okay, the first thing, if you have $20, you're gonna buy this kit off Amazon right here, okay? It is $20 and it is a full um, traditional method kit. It'll give you a pole, uh, probably up to like 10 feet max. They're not gonna give you a good one. It's get, All of this stuff is gonna be plastic shit. It's not gonna last long, but it's gonna get you through the first uh, five to 10 jobs. And that's what you wanna do. Because at each of these three stages, the goal is to get to the next stage, except at the end, then you wanna cash out right because it's kind of the best equipment out there um but for this first one 20 bucks don't try to don't try to use this equipment for forever like like pe people try to cash out too early they'll they'll buy some equipment and then they'll do a bunch of jobs and then they'll pocket all the money and go buy shit instead of reinvesting it you have to reinvest it you're like you will make so much more money if you have the water fed kit the five grand equipment than this 20 dollar kit like the goal of this equipment is so you can get a couple customers, save up a couple hundred bucks to buy the next thing. It is not to cash out. Don't cash out too early. All right, and then once you have that $20 kit, you're gonna need a couple extra things. Go in your kitchen or your garage and get a couple rags. Um, you just need just a few and, and some big towels are good. Like bath towels are great because you need to soak up all the, uh, all the stuff. But then you also wanna get some like smaller microfiber towels. Um, if you're just starting out and truly only have twenty dollars, just get a kitchen towel. It'll be it'll be good enough until you can go to Home Depot and buy some uh, microfiber towels, which I'll be talking about later. Um, yeah, and then go get a bucket. Um, just find a bucket in your garage. If you're really broke and you don't have a bucket, um, take some dish soap and just pour it on the scrubber and then add a little bit of water and just keep doing that over and over and over and that'll replace a bucket. And every time you don't get enough solution, just keep adding water um, from a water bottle or something onto the um, onto the scrubber. And this is truly for like your first job ever if you only have $20 just to get a couple hundred so you can buy a bucket and some and some soap. But don't overcomplicate the soap. It's, it's really like I am fine using dish soap you don't you don't need fancy stuff you can throw a couple other chemicals in there just to like make it a little bit better but really like dish soap is all you need the important part is the squeegee not the not the soap you put on the window all right so this next part is once you save up i'd say 500 to a thousand dollars from your your very original equipment you're gonna want to buy this uh kind of mid-tier stuff and it's it's mid-tier for the outside but this kit will carry you through the rest of your business. Um, the water fed equipment, the $5,000 equipment works only on the outside. So you're gonna buy this $500 equipment that I'm about to show you. It's a long shopping list and I'm gonna put all of, you know, all of the links in the description, but you're gonna wanna buy all this stuff gradually. You don't have to save up $500,000 and then buy it all at once. Just buy the stuff as you go that's why there's no like fixed price right it's not like you have to get five hundred dollars just buy the stuff as you start to make money um and I'll, I'll i'll put it in in like the levels of importance what you should buy first okay so the first thing is a home depot belt okay the, the um i think it's about fifty dollars at home depot it's a husky belt and it has all these pockets which have um you know you only need two of them it's plenty of room you put all your rags and stuff in there and then on Amazon, you're gonna buy this uh, bucket on a belt. And this is really gonna help a lot because it's you're gonna stop using a bucket. You're, like, you don't need to put your squeegee down every time because you can put in these holes right here in your scrubber. So you're a lot more mobile. All you need to carry around is a bucket. And it kind of sucks in the beginning when you have that $20 kit, you need to carry everything with you. All your rags need to like go in your pocket or something. So this is what I would buy first. Um, total price is about 70, 80 bucks. Um, these buckets on a bill are really expensive for some reason, like $30 for a piece of plastic, but super worth it. Um, after that, 
buy some better solution, I would say. So I get this bucket, a tour bucket, um, not too expensive. You don't really need this. You know, if you have something similar, it's, it's fine. But just get some dish soap like this, just a big, uh, big container. I've used this much in about 300 jobs. So it goes really slowly. Um, this is like five bucks at, at Home Depot. And then this uh, Easy Glide glass cleaner from Home Depot, which is uh, 20 bucks. And this goes a lot faster. I probably use a full one of these every 30 jobs. So, and if you're doing the outside, this is gonna run out really quick because you need a lot more solution for the exterior. So this is all I use, this is all you need. Um, what, 25, 30 bucks here. And this will last you a month of, of solid work. Um, again, you're gonna have to replace this a lot more frequent than this. Uh, and then next up, you're gonna wanna buy a squeegee, a scrubber, um, a blade, and uh, some other little things. So this is the scrubber I use. It's pretty nasty because I just use this, but it's two pieces. You have the T-bar, which is, I mean, it's just a piece of plastic. It costs like 12 bucks. And then the sleeve on top, which is, uh, I don't know, 20 bucks. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put all the prices up and, and they'll, everything will be in the description. So just take a look. Um, but I would recommend getting four or five of these sleeves because they get dirty like this and, and you don't, they're really hard to wash because they'll fill your washing machine up with, um, with soapy water and it, it's like white foam and it doesn't go away. It's really, it's really weird. So you want four or five of these so you can replace them. They're, they're so cheap, just, just buy it. Um, then you get the squeegee and you, you can spend hundreds of dollars on squeegees if you want. I've tried it and they all suck. Like this, this $10, $20 squeegee right here is, is all you need. It's perfect. Um, you know, it has a little clip right here to pop the, pop the, uh, um, the actual rubber out and um, you know this handle will last you forever and it connects to all the poles that you you'll get um, and then I have this the six inch squeegee because this is for French windows the windows that are cut into like 20 different pieces and you need something small to get in there um, a scraper uh, this is very 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 useful because if there's anything more than dust on a window you'll probably need this to scrape it off it's just a razor blade right there and then finally this is probably what I would buy last it's a polishing pad um, again link is in the description it's two pieces you have the velcro handle and the uh, polishing pad and you'll want to buy probably five or ten of the actual pads because as you can see they're getting kind of worn out um, so, so that's my whole kit for the inside obviously you need some microfiber um, rags and some just normal rags, but all that stuff is, is super cheap. Um, you know, other than this, you might want to get a ladder. Um, most people already have a ladder. I recommend a gorilla ladder. It, it, it can a frame and it can, um, go vertical up to like 30 feet, I think. So again, there's no particular ladder that's best. Um, I personally only use ladders for the inside of a house. I would never climb up on a ladder to get a three story window just either use a pole or buy water fed um, equipment. The only reason you might need a ladder is, is if there's a window above a roof that you need a ladder up on the roof and then, and then get the window and then come back down. But other than that, don't, use, don't get used to using a ladder for every single window that's um, above a one story. It, it's a really bad habit to get into and something bad is gonna happen, especially if you're alone. You're, you're gonna fall off eventually, I promise. Um, so yeah, and then this, again, I use this every day for the inside of houses. And I use this for six months on the outside of houses. And I'll tell you, everything gets worn out so much faster with the outsides because there's so much more dirt, there's so much more stuff on the window that'll um, it'll burn through your equipment, your rags, your solution so much faster. So use this equipment to save up $5,000 or 3,000, 5,000, somewhere in that range to buy the next level of equipment which will be a life changer. It is, it is crazy. Don't use a squeegee forever. I promise you have to make the investment. It, it's such a big deal to buy this water fed equipment. Um, especially if you live somewhere warm where you can use it year round. I live in Colorado where it's uh, freezing for four months of the year where I can't use it. So I'm, I'm kind of out of luck. 
But if you live Florida, Texas, California, wherever, I don't know, wherever it's warm all year long, you can use water fed forever and it's amazing. All right, and then once you start saving up enough money and get about five grand, you're gonna wanna buy all of this equipment here. This is called a water fed pole. That's the actual pole up there. And this is the filter. So all of this costs $5,000 or four or 5,000. Um, and this is what you need for Colorado. If you live somewhere with worse water quality, you might need to buy something with a double, um, you know, double filters, whatever. Or if you plan on having two people with poles, you need a bigger system so that it can support two, two of these, which can be really efficient if you have a double water fed um, tank and then two people go around the house with uh, two poles, you can clear a house in, in like 30 minutes. So this is the biggest piece of equipment. It is a three stage um, system. It has a carbon filter first, then a, uh, a big nice filter here that has this runoff at the bottom. So it filters your, your uh, house water and pumps it out. And so it gets rid of the, um, the excess minerals and, and whatnot in the actual water. This is called a reverse osmosis tank. And then finally, you have a DI, which is a deionizer. Um, and this is full of something called resin, which you'll need to buy um, more of and replace every, I'd say like one to three months, depending on how much you're using it. It's pretty cheap stuff. Um, and you can buy a bag of, of enough for years for like a hundred bucks. So um, and then these filters here, you need to replace about every month um, just because they get full of leaves and whatnot. So um, to connect this to a spigot, you want kind of just a short garden hose here. Um, you know, this is about 10 feet and you connect it to a water spigot and plug it into the carbon filter here. And then it goes through all the system and comes out the RI or the DI um, here. And this is filtered water, which then you connect to one of these um, 3 8 inch hoses, which come in the kit that I'm going to recommend. Um, and so you connect this here to this tank and water will start coming out of this end, which has a little uh, on off valve. And this part is a nice little um, coupler that'll connect to your water fed pole here. Um, so then your filtered water runs up the pole and comes out of the brushes up here. And this pole can telescope up to about 50 feet since all of these latches come up. Um, and so this is really good for commercial properties. And so this whole system is kind of the best you can get for one person. Um, and, you know, it's about $4,000, probably closer to five with all the accessories. And, um, you know, eventually you might need a bigger or a longer hose. I ended up needing one, so I went to Walmart and bought a normal garden hose for 50 bucks. And uh, that's all you need. So this is kind of the top of the line for the outside of a um, house. For the inside, you're still going to want to use your um, the kit that I showed you last. So the only thing you won't be using from this purchase list is the original $20 kit, um, just because you'll throw that out pretty soon. And that's why I don't even have it, because I threw it out months ago. So those are the three setups for equipment that I have gone through in the past year. Started with 20 bucks, about three to six months in, I started buying all of the mid-tier equipment. And then uh, four months ago, I bought all the water fed. And every step of the way is such a huge change. That water fed kit paid itself off in a week, maybe two weeks. Um, and it is such an amazing investment. You can fly through houses four times faster than with the squeegee, especially if you're getting on a ladder usually. It's just, you can't compare it to anything. You can get a five story building from the ground in like two minutes, whereas you would have to have five stories. You'd probably have to like rappel down the side to get to that with the squeegee. So it, there's nothing that compares to it. Um, for that kit, you can buy all those fancy components separately 
or you can do what I did and buy the um, water fed kit. It comes with some unnecessary stuff, um, you know, that I never ended up using, but all of that unnecessary stuff probably totaled for like a hundred bucks. So for the convenience and to make sure you have everything you need, it's really worth it. I have no affiliation with, with um, you know, the company that sells it. I'm just recommending what I have actually used. And um, you know, so it's, uh, 3,800 bucks right now um, with tax and shipping it's probably closer to um, four grand so I would plan for four thousand dollars as an investment in water fed um, five thousand total for water fed and all the other equipment I showed you and with five grand if you have all of that stuff in a car or some sort of truck or something that you can fit it in you can make that back in a week or two and then have unbelievable earning capacity for the rest of the summer or wherever you live, however long you want to do this for. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to, to leave a comment and, and I'll, I'll reply or just message me. And, and um, a lot of people are confused with the actual details of the water fed poll. I'll probably make a video explaining like the, all the different pieces and everything um, more in depth. I just didn't want to waste your time with that today. So thank you and uh, have a good one.